Welcome to Loch Tay, Scotland, the base for Crofna Carbo Water Sports Centre, where stressed out executives come to forget about the city and let themselves go. Here, people try things they don't normally do, which explains why they're not so good at some of them. But for this bunch of enthusiasts, things are about to get a lot colder and a lot wetter. Canyoning involves making your way up to the top of an ice-cold river and then coming down any way you can. It requires gearing up in the thickest wetsuits available and plunging into mountain streams. Naturally, safety is very important. The practice pool might not look too scary, but soon they're onto the real thing. With a water temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, the wetsuits are really put to the test. I'm a bit cold, but it's brilliant. We've got big water, big cakes. That is terrifying. It's wild. Absolutely on top, man. Absolutely on top. This is just phenomenal. Pretty cold, but just uh, a bit of a rush, you know? Absolutely fantastic. Further down the river are numerous water slides and plenty more plunge pools to play in. But before long, the team is ready for the biggest challenge of the day. I have complete control of everything. So if you let your hands go off the rope, it doesn't make any difference. I control your speed. Waterfall sailing. It involves a long rope, a 10 metre drop and a few tonnes of water per second. The worst bit is going over the edge. You've got sky above you, you don't know what's down below you. Once you're over the edge, then you've just got water thundering down all around you. You haven't got a clue where you are, what's happening. Just head down, hoping for the best. You touch ground, and yeah, you've done it. Well, one thing's for sure, these adventurers will be coming back for more. This is River Tay, Scotland, a venue for extreme sports like whitewater rafting. But it's also great for an unusual sport called hydroboarding. It's a dangerous sport, but if you know what to look out for, lots of fun. Uh, rocks, getting swept underneath a rock, underneath a ledge. Um, trees that are in the river. Basically, just those are the things you look out for. Yeah. That's why I'm here, to make sure you don't hit any of those things. The River Tay is about 5 degrees Celsius, so wetsuits are standard issue. Then there are pads for bumping into rocks and logs, and finally, flippers. The rules are simple. Get out into the centre of the river where the current is strongest, and kick like mad and hang on and enjoy the ride. I just got done in, <laughs> done a backward somersault, and it spat me under, I felt myself hit the bottom. I was pinned there for a while, come up, the board went flying, and I got spat out. That was brilliant, it was really good fun. I was aiming for one of the more powerful parts of it, just to, to kind of see what would happen, really. Uh, I, was, I was quite apprehensive, I must admit. It's from the shore, you could, you could just see it a bit, and uh, just as I was going over the top, just realised how big the thing was, and uh, didn't get through it, basically. Ended up going in, the board went under, it spun around. By the time I opened my eyes again, we were uh, well, just <laughs> still there in the wave. The only downside to this exciting sport, you have to carry your board back to the head of the river.